And lastly this week, according to the nonprofit Universal Ecological Fund, the world will be faced with food shortages by the year 2020 if, as a UN backed panel has predicted, global temperatures rise to a level 2.4 degrees Celsius above those in pre industrial times. The group's analysis of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's data has concluded that population growth and warmer temperatures will have a dramatic impact on food production and prices if current trends continue. Agriculture is an enormous global industry, vital for human survival. But a new report by the fund paints a bleak picture about its future ability to provide for a booming global population. The report, called The Food Gap, predicts that the effects of increasing temperatures over the next 10 years threaten global livestock and crop production. Conclusions are not very good. Uh, there's going to be deficit in three of the four major crops, being wheat, rice, and maize. And the only one showing uh, surplus is soybean. Um, this is not good. Dr. Osvaldo Canziani, a Nobel laureate and former co-chair of a UN-backed climate change panel, was a scientific advisor for the report. He says the evidence of climate change is too compelling to ignore and that action must be taken. The formulas and the scenarios, as I say, present a certain degree of certainty. But we have to be careful with all the projections, but realize that this is a precautionary action to, to be taken. We cannot wait the very fact that it's pointly exactly 2.4. And it's not only increasing temperatures, the report says, but a growing population exerting too much pressure on dwindling resources. 900 million additional people will be living in the world by 2020. The demand of uh, the current population plus this additional will, be ha will have to be met. How are we going to do that? Kanziani says these factors will affect Africa and Asia most severely. A solution is uncertain, but Hisas says governments need to act to reduce global greenhouse emissions and populations need to change their way of life, including their diets, to face the new realities of a warmer climate.